All right, hi right, guys. Sorry, I just gotta put my controller down there for a second. I've been away all day, basically helping my sister move in to her new flat in Aberdeen. Quite tired. Been up since about what half seven on my day off. So um, I just made two discoveries. Well, one I knew was coming, and one I realised while I was helping my sister. The first. Finally, even though I've opened it, it's just like, I finally got my 64 game, and as you can see, it's Star Wars Rogue Squadron, the original Rogue Squadron. Now, I haven't actually played it yet, I've booted it up, and it definitely works, and uh, it's really good, it looks really good, well, for N64 game. I know like the graphics are not great, but like I say, graphics are set by the time. Gameplay is forever. So if it's good gameplay, good game. Right. The second thing is something I feel a little bit stupid about. When I got my modded Mega Drive, I thought it was broken. I think I've mentioned that. So I have been looking the last two to three weeks about getting a Japanese Mega Drive. Now after the horror stories I've seen with Don't Move Phoenix Next File, I've been really cautious to actually buy or look at the detail for a Japanese Mega Drive, basically due to don't want to buy an Asian one and play everything at 50 hertz. That's pointless. So I was having a look at the back of my SCART selectors of my sister's TV while I was installing it for her. And I forgot that two of them, one of them's RGB and one of them's AV. Now I bought a new cable for my Mega Drive because I thought both of them were broke. And the new AV cable was RGB and I forgot that. I've been plugging it into the AV SCART socket, well into the adapter I have for it. So I've put it into the RGB. And I'm going to show you exactly what, I, what happened, okay? So I'll see you in a second, right? Right. Here you can see my Mega Drive running in full 60 hertz NTSC mode with no glitches, meaning the mod completely works and I was a tool. Now there's little juddery tiny bits, but it's hardly noticeable. I probably will eventually get one, but it's going to hold me off in buying one if I don't necessarily need it at the present time. My thought process was to buy a legit boxed, near enough completely mint Mega Drive and a Super Famicom and any kind of American or PAL games that I play off the modded ones and just leave all the Japanese games for the original co consoles and just enter switch them. So, I don't necessarily have to do that at the moment. Which is probably for the better, you know, in my money. Saying that, I've just got paid, so that's not exactly a problem at the moment. But I'm just really annoyed at myself that I actually forgot to do this. But, alright. I'll show you this in a second. Right, I'm going to switch this off. I'll test it another game just to show you, see if it does the same thing. Right, back again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, let me go a second. I think I have to turn the 50 hertz, 60 hertz switch off and then switch it on afterwards. Wait a minute, sorry. Right. 
There you go. So this is Streets of Rage 2 running on the modded Mega Drive. Working perfectly well. Well, it's a little juddery. As you can see, if you look at the bottom of the screen, that little bit's juddering a bit, and some of the text is juddering. So it's not entirely perfect. Uh, it's doable. All right. Just thought I'd do that. Right. Just be a second again. Right back. Just thought I'd say right at the end. Like I said, I got the ever. I got the new issue of Retro Gamer. There we go. Be reading that. Really enjoying it. Like I say. I've been reading like the retro bits in Games TM, but I never actually read the actual retro game magazine itself. I'm quite liking it, it's quite different. And then for Don't Me Phoenix, I actually bought the new issue of Neo, which I quite like. And if anyone's not seen it before, it's like it's got different release dates for all new animes. Um, let's see, reviews of Japanese manga. Magazines. Different Japanese game based on anime. Actual uh, excerpts from different mangas. This is a British manga. A written, British drawn written manga style. Reviews. Gundam Level Zero. Uh, uh, awesome series. Samurai Deepa Kayo. I actually saw a fan sub of that about four years ago. It's just coming out now. That's a bit of a slight. Look at that, it's like Slayer's Next, Volume 3. Whereas you can get the whole box set in the state for probably about the same price. That's also a very good anime there. Uh, Black Lagoon. And Bleach, which is awesome. And this is stuff like lots of aberration stuff. It's really good. I just thought I'd show what was it the subscription page if I can find it. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't find it quickly. Right, let's just say a quick update. Right, this is Evil Softman. Out.